Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is RuneStorm. Today we're we'll doing Let's Talk Legendary. And today we'll be talking about Dakon Blackblade. So Dakon is actually a human from the plane of Dominaria. He was actually born in Corridor. Dakon was known as the Shadow Slayer when he was forced to serve Gaedra and Dyata. Dakon wears an armor that he forged himself at with his muscular body. He also forged the sword Blackblade, which gave him the name Dakon Blackblade. The blade was forged with dark rituals and magic. How Dakon became Gaedron Dairada's servant is basically that she used the sword that Dakon had made and absorbed Dakon's shadow, therefore igniting his spark. Because of this, he was forced to serve her. His true face was never actually revealed as there is always a shadow obscuring his face. As one would expect in such servitude, Gaedron, he has a short temper. Now let's talk about some of the history of Dakon. It actually all started when Dakon was a simple warrior and a blacksmith, and Gaedron actually offered him to ability to planeswalk, which is actually really cool, which he thought was cool and everyone does. But he would have to make her the most powerful weapon to ever existed. So Gaedron had shown Dakon some sorceries that were needed to create such a sword. Apparently it took years to make them. Ten years. That's right, ten whole years. And he had to kill a slave each time he heated the blade to make. He was very eager to try out the blade once it was created, and the blade had such devastation. So Diana actually had returned to the plane because she heard her rumors of this Dakon creating such fighting proudness in the battlefield. So when she did return, she gave him the ability to planeswalk as part of the deal of creating such a sword. She then therefore stabbed Dakon's shadow, absorbing his entire soul. When this happened, he was actually bound to the blade given his true name, Dakon Blackblade. He was left to wander the plane after this had, had happened. There was a war on Corridor many years later. There, because during this war, there was a boy named Son of Karth who used an amulet of Tifu to bend himself to Dakon. This merging was an attempt to help the win the war and Dakon did not want to be some kind of slave. But as soon as he found out that Karth was fighting Dyada, he was actually quite pleased that he was able to fight for Karth. So basically, Dyada heard of the pair and sent out Solkanar to go and slay them both, and it didn't work out, and Solkanar was defeated. Because of this failure, Dyada actually summoned the Chromian dragons, Rayul and Peru, who were actually Elder Dragons. Karth helped Dakon defeat Chromian with the Black Blade right away. Soon after, Piru was defeated by Dakon and his blade as well. When Piru was actually defeated and released all this energy known as the Dueling Chasm of Golthanor. This, of course, was actually all planned by Dada so she could absorb Piru's soul. At that moment, Dakon had struck her with the blade, but Dyada was stronger. After all this, Karth had noticed that Dakon's shadow had returned. Maybe as a result of him hitting Dyada with the blade? Who knows? We do know later, though, Dakon had participated during the Planeswalker War of Corridor. And that is all the information on we have at Dakon at the moment. So Dakon Blackblade is actually represented in a couple of cards. The first one, as you've seen throughout this video, is basically says equal to the number of lands in control, which is kind of cool. But again, as you can tell from this series, back in the day, it cost a fortune to get that kind of card out next card he's represented is actually Modern Horizons 2. And then while this one costs less, and he's actually kind of like a Planeswalker card. So it's actually kind of cool with a Surveil 2, Exile Target Creature. And you may put Artifact Card from your hand on the graveyard to on your battlefield with a minus 6. Enters the battlefield with a number of loyal key counters equal to the number of lands you control. So again, back to the original one that was made like 20 years ago. This one is actually quite good and associated with that card. So Dakon is actually associated with only one card only, and as you can see in this one, it's Blackblade Reforged. So that Blackblade, well, don't have to go into it, but that goes in with his name. As equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each land you control. Equip legendary creature three or equip seven. So again, it goes with the whole Dakon putting that card on him. It really ties it in, and I like the saying, it spilled the blood of one Elder Dragon. Gideon's hands, it may yet taste another. Next is we have a lot of cards that he's depicted in. So the first one is being Blacksmith Skill. So before he was subjected by demonic forces, Dakon was a master smith of unrivaled artistry. And I 
can assume that's the picture of him. And as you can see, he's kind of not showing his face at all. <laughs> it's like they try to cover his face even in this human form. It's really kind of creepy and cool. Another card that he is actually depicted in. Well, that's there you go. Diodus ploy. Last piece was this finally in place. It's quite simple as well. There's the shadow. There's the armor. Everything's just perfect in that picture. Another card that he's depicted in is, well, Puro the Volatile. Well, it's pretty cool because if you look in the very closely in the picture, there's Peru. And there is Dakon in the bottom right of the picture. So it's really cool that they have this really connected storyline. Because this is basically what happened if you were to see it like with images, the how this came to be. And the last card he's depicted in is, well, Profane Tutor. Has suspend, but it says search your library for any card, put that into your hand. But the saying goes, as Dakon forged the black blade for Geodon Diada, he unwittingly forged himself into her schemes. And well, we know the rest from there. Well, you guys might get a very funny kick out of this, but uh, he's actually associated with Granny's Payback. This card is actually from Unhinged. You gain life equal to your age. Uh, so the saying goes, few remember the exploits of Dakon's grandmother, your niece, Blackbeard. So that's really cool. I just think it's really funny how they tied this card into the Dakon's life. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a good day and a good evening.